Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Kerbal Space Program. So today we are continuing on with our Mun base, our Moon base I mean, and I think it is episode 3 now, and we are going to attach this huge rover to our Moon base, and then we will work on another design, and uh, our other design, our design after this, will be a little bit more complex, and I have to figure out what to do exactly, and you will see eventually, near the end of the video. But, we are taking this to space, of course it's taking a while, let's check our orbit, it seems good so far, plenty of fuel, that's what we want to see, we can throttle down since we are high as it is, and let's move our rocket to the right a little bit, let's do a burn, and Yep, there we go. How's that going? Maybe let's raise it up a little bit more. Here we go. So we'll do a burn from right here. It should work out fine. This design is quite nice. Alright, there we go. Do a burn right there. Perfect. Yeah, looking good. Look at that. I'm going to screenshot this. Alrighty, disconnect, disconnect, on. <laughs> Look at that, goodbye. And uh, we do have these small engines, I think I mentioned this in the last episode. Uh, they are just to help us get an orbit. I'm hoping we're going to make it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see. Let us see. We only need to increase our speed by 400, about 300 meters per second now. If we can do that, then that will create an orbit. 300 meters per second, okay? And we can turn off the RCS. We don't really need that. This is looking good. Alright, so the moon is there. We can grab our moon over right there. Uh, close that up a little bit more. Right about there, then we move our whole maneuver to the side just a little bit. Come on. Alright, expand that. No, not good. Bad maneuver. Yeah, that seems good. So we're going to close up our orbit. And. Yeah, that, that seems really good. Alright. So let's continue fast forwarding. Get to around there and everything should be nice and easy after that and I really like this rover, it's really cool the way I designed it, really nice it is a huge rover very big, too heavy just trying to get a nice screenshot here gotta get a nice view there we go so you guys know what the video is about before you click it that's what I do ha ha so now we should be able to go times 50, yep and time warp and two minutes ah okay we have to do a burn very soon actually we're a little bit late with the burn I'll be honest but that's not important why is it not important because well this maneuver will take us close enough to our destination which is the moon and we usually hook on to the moon, even though if you're a little bit, you know, off with your prediction here, you'll still get to the moon. Like, I'm doing a burn right now. The reason why I'm doing a burn now is because I'm going to get to this point where my mouse is in a very short amount of time. And this should turn around. The apoapsis will expand that way. And that should be good. Very cool. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Check inside. Hello. Let's go with this guy. We don't really check inside very often, do we? Look at his eyeballs. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Look at his facial expression. Oh. Huh. That's really cool. Did not know about that. Huh. Very nice. 
Man, those stars. <laughs> Looks so weird. So many colors. Okay, so that's a handbrake. Well, that's the emergency buttons. Why are there so many? <laughs> Why? Alright. And you know what would be a good challenge? Make a challenge where you have to fly like a, uh, a jet to space, but you are only allowed to view the, the inside of the capsule, nothing else. That'd be really cool. A good challenge, I think. So you just, not this capsule, the other capsule made for jets, you can use it and just fly, fly around. That'd be a good. No one's really done that. No one has done that. Some YouTubers, KSP YouTubers, have, have kind of stopped making videos, to my surprise. Yeah. Oh well. People slow down. But don't forget, the game isn't... I think this game is still in alpha. So it is still in development. Ton of things that need to be added into the game. Uh, for instance, the harvesters need to be implemented. Uh, locations on different planets and moons where you will collect, uh, you'll harvest materials to make your rockets and whatnot. So that's going to be really interesting the way that will turn out. This is taking a while, and look at that. My damn rocket adjusted its position here on the stupid nab ball. Damn you! I'll just stay right there. That's perfect. La 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 la. This should start speeding up. And now it's time to time warp to our destination. And here we go. We're going to press F5 before we do something wrong. To just quick save. Fast forward again. Make sure you guys always quick save. Otherwise it will just be a terrible situation for you. And uh, now we need to find the richer grade. Do a burn. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Richer grade. Richer grade. There you go. Just turn on SAS now, and that will slow your rocket down, or rover, whatever you have. Okay, now move that way. And so far, I did not use RCS to make this maneuver just then. <laughs> How cool. See? You can save on RCS fuel. Awesome. Uh, yeah, aside from that, very nice. Very nice. Mouse is, the Kerbal's mouth is a bit wonky. -dated. Is that a tooth? Oh, okay, that looked like a single tooth. It scared me there. You scared me. And that nab ball is like full on 3D. Huh. And kaboom. Now, continue doing a burn. Close up our orbit. How much fuel do we have? Okay, let's hope that is enough to safely land. Man, I don't know if it's just me. Yeah, there's something wrong with my game right now. The sound is only on my left ear. I just realized it. Huh. I'm gonna fix it. I'll be right back. Alrighty. I don't know what the problem was with the the engine sound just then. So I've just turned off the sound of KSP. My microphone is working perfectly fine. The settings haven't been adjusted. It's so weird. Man, I don't know. And the game, KSP, is a little bit uh, bugged out. If you launch your rocket, right, from the launch pad, just launch your rocket, click escape, and then go to your settings, settings thing. So when you launch a rocket, click escape, then go settings, and then adjust your your sound or your music, right, and just adjust it, and then click apply, then OK. And for me, KSP always crashes. I don't know what's going on. It just always crashes. It's always done that ever since I had the game. So, yeah. I don't know if the KSP guys know about it. KSP team. So where's our destination again? Ah, that's right. Shrinking this. This Apoapsis. Just shrinking it down. As per usual. That's a lot of putts. For me, I usually remove the putts. But because it's mainly because they build up the lag. Uh, I'm gonna click F5. And that's a pretty good orbit, don't you think? Yeah, let's see how precise it is. 61,000, 79,000. Eh, a little bit off, but it looks quite precise. Not that it matters, right? <laughs> no, of course it doesn't matter. Of course. 
Now, it's always the same process. This is almost like a tutorial, right? Just watch the video, then you know how to get to Moon. Very easy. Come on. Almost there. I'm looking forward to landing this cool rover vehicle. Very cool, and almost there. Let's get it to about there. Mark it out. Okay, good. We are right on the retrograde. Perfect. Do a burn. Of course, the sound is off, so you can't hear anything. I'm going to have to troubleshoot the sound later on. Maybe it's just case P. It I don't know what it is. Just a random thing. You know what? I'll turn it back on. Let's just see what happens. Just quick save before I do that. Okay, move that to two. See? Ah, oh, crashed. Alrighty, so I seem to fix that. Have fixed up the problem. Uh, I changed the sound just then, and then the game crashed again. KSB crashed as as usual. Where? Yeah. All right. I thought the uh, video file was corrupted just then, I freaked out. I don't want to record something twice. No one does no one wants to do that. Throw a little bit more. Alright. And then we have to find north on the nav ball. It's a red line. One piece of reference. Yep. And do that. Come on. Let's just hope we have enough fuel to successfully land. Yeah, seems good. Halfway. That raises up. Goes up. It's a little bit high. But I think we should be fine. Yeah. Alrighty. So you go there. Come on. No. Alright, so. Fast forward. Just. Oh, okay. Fast forward a little bit too much there. And. Let's. Just throttle down. Throttle up. Not throttle down. The heck. Yeah, throttle up. Shrink down the orbit. Good. Very nice. Alright, as you can see, that was a very good maneuver. Uh, it appears that we are falling di almost directly downwards now. And, yes, we are. Directly downwards. We have plenty of fuel still. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be a good landing. Very good landing. I'm happy with this. And let's just turn our rover just a little bit because I know the our destination here, our trajectory, is actually going to be on a hill. Right, so I'm preparing for that. If you watched the last episode, then you know what I did there to combat the hill. Because <laughs> the hill is a, is a hazard when you have rockets and rovers. Because if you land on a hill, your rocket might topple over, and you don't want that, of course. But anyway, let's uh, throttle it up. So ourselves all the way down. We still have a, f a right amount of fuel. Should be just the right to land. If we're quick enough. Yep. Seems good. Let's get it up. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, thank you. Good thing we have RCS fuel. Otherwise, oh, it's almost wasted too. That's terrible. When did we use it all up? Wow. That should give us about huh, more than 30 seconds worth of of RCS fuel. Should. That's an estimation. Alright. Let's just keep it at that speed. Yep. Seems good. Now, are we falling? Okay. Lag spike. Big lag spike. Wow. Yeah, this lag spike is getting worse. And now, I am in the... These these rockets here have just had their physics enabled. Which means uh, their textures are more... They have their textures now, so we can see them up close in HD. <laughs> Pure HD. Okay. So, we're falling forwards, which is very bad. Very bad. Let's go here, do a burn there. We don't want to be going... 20 meters per second one way yeah that seems good let's hope we just fall down a great 
Oh yeah, RCS fuel is gone. Okay, that was less than 30 seconds worth. Great. Oh, great. We're not going to make it, are we? <sighs> we need RCS fuel with this design. It's a fact. Okay, if I just hold down S with SAS on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to have to do this manually. going to be a manual landing, people. A terrible manual landing. Oh, great. Oh, no. Okay. We'll just use the gimbal range of our parts. Okay. <laughs> this is so terrible. Terrible, I tell ya. No. Wow. <laughs> oh no. 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 Yes. 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 Fuck. <laughs> what a terrible landing. No. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. No, see what RCS fuel does? It's extremely important to have RCS fuel with this design. I'm going to restart, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, here we go with our attempt number two. And this time, we actually have RCS fuel. Yes, we have 160 out of 910. So, that should be enough, hopefully. Destination is there. So let's make a little turn here. Let's do a little turn. Turny, turny, turn, turn. Excellent. Okay. Now, this is the most hardest part. Let's slow ourselves down, first of all. We don't want to be going 100 meters per second straight towards moon. At this, at this altitude, of course, because this is a terrible altitude to be at. We're going to need RCS fuel to be on. Uh, it drains fairly fast, I have to admit. But it's good to have it on every every couple seconds, just as a booster to make sure that you are going in the correct direction. Okay, so you, yeah, it's a little bit hard to control this this damn thing. That's the only problem with these large rover wheels is that they just, you know, they cause problems with the mass of your of your rover. The only problem. Okay. Now let's change our position here. Let's just keep a steady throttle up. Just throttle up steadily. Let's just keep it there. We are decreasing in speed. And cables are happy. I haven't got the lag spike yet. I'm waiting on that. Maybe we're not close enough to those other parts down there. It's going to be a bit of a trip going up this this mountain here, but we've done it before. Should be fine. We still have enough fuel. Uh, our s ooh, monopropellant is going down rapidly. Might have to turn that off just for a second. Alrighty. And almost there. I turned off the RCS just to save it for a couple of seconds. Alright, good thing that's a hill, so... Alrighty. That should make it. There we go. Alright, excellent. We still have some RCS fuel left over. Uh, I'm surprised we actually made that. Wow. So. Before we continue on, let's make a few adjustments. We are going to disable... We're going to lock the steering. Lock the steering here as well. Right, because we don't need that to steer. The two front ones are good to steer, and the two back ones as well. Okay, now let's deploy the parachutes, and I believe if I press number one... I mean, not parachutes, the solar arrays and solar panels. So these guys all extend, which is a very... Useful thing, we also have the lights, of course. There we go, although we don't need them now, from the looks of it. Uh, we can drive using docking mode, and let's go. Once we turn off the brakes. Oh ho! <laughs> Here we go, and yeah, it seems fairly good. Very good. And this is going to take a while, won't it? Yes, it will, and Miles will just have a bit of fun, so let's go to chase mode. If there is any chase mode. 
Wasn't there meant to be a chase mode? Okay, fine. I go orbital mode then. And of course, we can throttle up if we go back to the staging mode. That will... Ah, well, okay. That's just giving us a little bit of burst. And we can now drive. Oh, ho, 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 ho. let's put this as uh, screenshot this, eh? Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> I pressed the wrong thing. Oh, lag spike. There it is. Yep, we are in the midst of the other rockets. No. Wow, it's laggy all of a sudden. So it's F1 to screenshot and number one to extend these guys. F2 to show the parts. Yep, okay, excellent. Where's the hill? What, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Did we just pass the hill? What in the world? Are we on the hill? Where are we? <laughs> I'm lost. That's probably the destination, but I can't see anything now. Where are you, Ark? Ark! Man, the, the camera view is so weird. Alright, let's go back there. Let that roll for a second. Let's check on where we are. Okay, it looks like we are going in the correct direction. And yes, if you can see, we are very, very slowly moving towards a destination here on the map. This map here. Very slowly. Okay. Excellent. Now, let us... Yeah, let's go. These damn rover wheels are so slow, so we, we just give them a bit of burst. Ah, okay, that should be fast enough. Back to docking mode. Alrighty, let that do its thing. Let, uh, let's screenshot this. Kaboom, and kaboom, excellent. Oh, F2. F2. There it is. Alrighty, the arc. The awesome arc. Yeah. What you doing, Ark? It's not as easy to turn left and right using the staging. I mean, the uh, docking mode. Staging, I think, is a little bit easier. Yeah, personal. Personally. Wait, let's test it out. Unless it makes no difference. Probably does make no difference. Eh, who knows. I think it does, doesn't make any difference, does it? With the turning left or right. But I do know docking mode is more stable, of course. That's what you guys have said. Let's give it an extra boost. Don't turn the wrong way. Yeah, that should do. Boost enough. We are almost at full throttle. Whoa, okay. A little bit too much there, wasn't it? That's okay. That's alright. It is okay, my friends. Yes, it is. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now. Where is that moon base? What's she doing, moon? Moon. Is that it? There it is. You can just barely see it. So many parts and just covering it up. Now, we need to slow down. We don't want to smash into our moon base. That would be terrible. Brakes on. Okay, that seems good. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's not crash into the arc. We don't want that. Let us turn the brakes on. Laggy. Lag. Very laggy. Very laggy, my friend. Let's turn the lights on. Okay. Here we go. Brakes all the way on. I'm not even moving left or right right now. It's just doing its, its own thing. Wait, maybe it's because I need to have SAS on. Okay, now let us do the thing, the amazing maneuver here, docking. Let's open the shield. Let's make sure that we hold down S just a little bit, slow ourselves down, and that appears to be our target. So I've just set it as a target, not that that does much. <laughs> and come on, let's go forward. This is an awesome moon base. Let's turn off the lights. Yeah. Okay. What a bit of a horrible angle here. 
that we've taken ourselves into. Let's not smash anything. Uh, we're too much on the right hand side. It's always the right hand side, isn't it? Come on. Turn. I'm going to use staging. Whoa. Okay. All right, I see, I see. Let's use a bit of staging, eh? Give us a little boost using the engine. Now, we got to turn right just a little bit. Let me show you. Alright, I'm just doing a nice reverse. And then we'll just go straight into our destination. Should be good. This breaks now. Yeah, okay, this looks right. Looks very good. Okay. Move forward. Now, let's get as close as possible to this thing without smashing into it. Don't forget there are brakes that we can use. And don't forget that our rover will slide down this damn hill. Stupid hill. Slide. Do not slide. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Continue on. Excellent. Alright. Perfect. I think we are doing very well this time. Very well. We're probably going to be too much on the left hand side. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to slide to the right. Look, we're perfect now. Perfecto. And. 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 Now. Do something. Doc. Oh gosh, it's always the same problem, isn't it? Docking, you are terrible. Let me move it side to side. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, we docked. <laughs> and that is looking good. I really like the way that looks. Very nice. It's very symmetrical. Of course, we need to add another one of these rovers here. But overall, yeah, it's looking very good. Laggy as hell. And uh, should I screenshot this? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Yeah, I'll just screenshot just as an update thing. Uh, we need to get the arc in the picture. How do we do this? Um, how does that look? <laughs> Wait, let me turn the lights on. <laughs> no, turn the lights off, then we do this. This is different, we're sort of like using a glitch here. A bug. Because, you know, well, actually, it's not a bug, is it? You can look inside the planet. I guess it's not a bug. Do that. F1. Ooh. Hello, Kerbin. Good timing. Yeah. Let's turn it all around. Ah, oh, that's, that's fascinating. I like this picture. Wait. Now, there we go. Very nice. Okay. Wow. So, um... Now that we've done that, we have just enabled ourselves to add two, uh, one part, one rocket here, another one here, and two more on the other side, which is four rockets on this. How nice. Now, we need to work on the front part here, and this front part, will we will have small rovers here, which means we need to add something that will hopefully attach rovers. I'm not too sure if I'm going to have the, the rovers not, I'm not too sure if I'm going to have docking ports on the rovers because the docking ports are pretty big compared to a small rover so I'm just considering having I'll just place like one of these guys there and then create something maybe a platform or maybe I'll just just have the rovers just sitting there by themselves not connected to anything, just f just for looks. Uh, that will work out nice. Uh, in the middle here, I'm not too sure what we can do. I mean, we can add another one of these guys in the middle here, which will enable us to add to add more parts. Or I can just add something completely different. And I might do that. I might. I'm just not too sure what to do yet. But anyway, this so far this is looking good. I'll be back when I've made my decision.
Okay guys, I hope you guys can all hear me nice and clearly. And right now we are uh, almost at a destination of course. And I've been looking at the new update, so the KSP 0.20 update. And don't forget the game is still in beta, which is... Uh, alpha? I think it's still in alpha, yeah, yeah. Early stages. And let me just tell you what's going on, what they're going to implement. So, I'll just do something like this. So I can read it out. So they're implementing flags, which of course will be useful. Um, <laughs> just go to a planet or a moon, plant a flag, you're done. Very nice. Uh, this is a pretty terrible thing that I've just done here. That's okay. I can fix that. Yeah, the maneuver that I just did wasn't 100% best, but I, I know how to fix it. Go there, follow up, and look at it move. Look at that. Look at that magic. I am an expert. Did we just waste out of fuel? Oh right. We're meant to. That's fine. Throw it up a little bit, get that rocket all out of the way. Okay. Perfect. Now it looks like we sort of throw it up a little bit too much, so we are going up. But oh well, we're moving closer to our destination, which is perfectly fine of course. And now we are too close uh, we need max throttle here. Max mum Here we go. Actually we don't really need to. We're doing fine, so there's destination, it's gonna be a bit of a trip. Uh, it seems as though we are uh, I think I'm looking at this on the wrong angle. Like this. Yeah, that's right. So then there's that. And on the forum again, I'll one more really cool thing for the next update is that they are introducing Kerbal seats. So you won't need that mod that actually allows you to have seats in the game. I'll just Little hiccup there. Uh, so what it says is external. Let me turn this off. Uh, external seat parts which allow kerbals on EVA to approach and sit on them. So that's very useful. Definitely will be a cool advancement to the rovers. I'll look forward to that. Or maybe even on rockets. You know, you could just have a kerbal sitting on the rocket before you launch it. That will be good for some sort of having fun episode. I haven't really worked on that at all lately. So, a the Kerbal Knowledge Base. This is the first iteration of new game system. That will be a big thing on later. Map filtering. Too many vessels and debris cluttering at the tracking station will be a thing of the past now. With the new map filtering tabs. Okay, that looks very interesting. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Indeed. Indeed, you. Now, let's continue on. I'm going to do... I'm going to play Feed the Beast after I finish recording this. I'm really enjoying Feed the Beast. It's interesting, and you know, if you compare Kerbal Space Program to Feed the Beast, there's a huge difference. Why? Well, it's because Kerbal Space Program, you really need to put a lot of time and effort to design your rockets and ships, because obviously you do get a few hiccups every now and then, like if you've seen, on the launch pad, my rockets always just tear apart, just because you know, they're about to launch and they just tear apart. And even with the the cheats, the unbreakable joints, they still break apart. That is inevitable. Yes, indeed. And for the next update, they're introducing more parts as well, but it doesn't necessarily say exactly what they're introducing for the new parts thing. On-demand terrain assessed... Assets? What? Assets. All right. <laughs> uh -huh. Instead of having maps, whatever that is, load buffer scene. This is a trick we've picked up from the Unity guys. Uh, to better clear memory, which when switching scenes, blank buffer scene. Okay. So overall, the things that will change the game will be the Kerbal seats. Uh, the flags aren't as important, but it'll be just a fun little thing, nifty little feature to have, and more parts. Depends what parts they will introduce. And they've mentioned that the resource system, they won't be implementing it in the next update because uh, it's just too difficult for them right now and they have a lot of time. They want to work on other things, which is understandable. I mean, you know, Kerbal Space Program is a very difficult thing to code. I mean, look at many things. Look at all this, this screen. Difficult stuff to code. Yeah. It's very resource heavy, but not as bad as other games. Now what do you guys think of the design here? 
Looks good, eh? I placed a few solar panels just for decorative looks. These RCS things. Um, this, of course, photonic panels. And we are going nice and slow. May okay, we can't fast forward again. That's correct. Doot doot doot. Awesome. Just throttle up a little bit. Seems good. And I'm about to reach 3,000 subscribers. Wow, I'm surprised. Like, I don't even look at the amount of subscribers a lot of the time. And when I do look at the amount of subscribers, that's a rare thing. But when I do look, it's like, wow, you know, I didn't realize that I got 100 subs overnight. <laughs> I don't get that many. I might get a maximum of 60, which is a heck of a lot. A lot. And it was pretty funny, you know, I had, there were some other KSP YouTubers, right, who had more subs than me. And then somehow I just, just smashed them and I'm, you know, over 100 subs more than them now. And exponentially increasing too. It's really cool. Very interesting. Uh, it's worth it, you know, all the effort I put in, all those hours playing the game. It's fun. And if you're curious, uh, I don't know. I have mentioned this before. I wanted to create a competition, right? Where you know, if you win the competition, you'll win the KSP game for the people that don't have KSP, because unfortunately, some people, you know, can't afford it. Or maybe, well, they can't afford it, but you know, they won't pay for it or anything like that. So, I want to pay f the game, pay the game for them, pay for it, pay the game for them. Does that work? Yeah, that makes sense. I think. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just came back from TAFE College, so it's just sort of a killer. It was a good lesson, actually. Doing something called Frame Relay, if you don't know. <laughs> All of you won't know what that is. It's like, what? What did it just say? That's a secret. It's technology that you will never hear of. But it's it happens everywhere. Everywhere. So this is a very stable landing so far. I'm very pleased with this. But we will stop speaking until we actually land. Hey! What a great landing! Very nice! <laughs> Very good landing, I'm happy with this. Wait, what are you doing, SAS? Don't, don't, there's nothing to change. Okay, that's me. Alright, now, destination is down there. Our smoggy bays are here, which means we have to make this thing fall forward. So, I'll have W, I'll hold down W, click G, throttle up, and nothing smashed yet. Alright, I'm gonna F5 this before we do anything, anything else. Uh, and yeah, that seems good. Let's turn off SAS. Drive around, awesome. Now, of course, with the smoggy bays, uh, you can't. They don't have any motors in them, so all they do is just roll. That's why I have to use this rocket engine to propel uh, ourselves forward, as I'm doing now. Which is okay. It doesn't really bother me. We have plenty of fuel still. More than I expected. A, f a full fuel tank back there, and well, not much at the first fuel tank. But um, let's check on. Let's click this mod propellant. Leave that on. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Uh, we can turn it off for now. But when we do need it, and we will need it on that hill over there. Let's max. Let's throw it a bit more, shall we? I have saved it, so if we do smash to pieces, we can just revert back to the save. Please don't do that now. Please don't smash. <laughs> we are going quite fast on the moon. Yes, we are. Oh, you know what? Well, you know what's another thing. Uh, this strut down here, the landing strut, might hit the ground any time now. It's as if it's like, it's just scraping, scraping on the ground. It is scary stuff. But I'll be back when I am um, there. Although I can just docking mode. I'll probably go for docking, docking mode for this since we can't really turn left or right very easily. Down the hill now. So, yeah. It looks like we're like floating. Barely. Watch this. 
Will this work? No. No, it won't. Ho 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 ho. Well, we are going quite fast. We have accelerated quite a lot. Oh, here we go, lag spike. Yep, we are. We've just activated the moon base's physics, and my game is going to crash. I'm back from a game crash. The the game always crashes every time I a end up activating the moon base's physics, because of course there are a lot of parts there, and don't forget those parts down there where the mouse is. So all of them activate. They all activate, and then my game just crashes. I uh, I don't know. It's sort of a new thing for me. It, it gets annoying because I have to restart the trip that I just took to get to the moon base. <gasps> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. F F12 this. After we finish crashing, F12. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys. We are very close to our moon base. And um, there was a problem actually, uh, back down there, every time I got close enough to the moon base to activate the moon base's physics, the game uh, actually kept on crashing and then it said something about the screen resolution or something like that. And uh, I just lowered down the, what was I think it was a render quality or texture quality. I did not do that. What? Uh, uh, we have a problem. Our moon base does not like gravity. <laughs> what the heck? My moon base was not meant to do that. Uh, I hope I back this up. Hmm. This is a problem. I don't remember this happening before. No. Okay, we have raining moon base parts. Can someone please explain? I'm baffled. Look at that. Hey, that thing actually survived. Hello. What the heck? Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna... Make use of this situation, and if I can get to staging mode, why not? We'll just smash into our moon base. I wanted to continue developing it. I'm hoping that we have have it saved. <laughs> but that's pretty bad. I want to continue on with this moon base. If I can't even get to this, then that's bad. I wanted to make more. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, I want to get to that. No, no. Oh, oh, it's this one. Okay. Now one of these are rolling backwards. Just gotta find it. They are. There are too many parts. <laughs> wow. There it is. That's the one we have to get to. Give me here. Give me here. Not you. No. No. Huh. Is that floating? No, it's moving. Ah, oh, I'm surprised. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Oh, that looks cool. Look at that. Very nice. A damaged wheel. Alright, let's hope that we saved it. I'm not too sure if F9 will... T uh, it will take us back to the last quick save, but I'm not sure if it will revert back the moon base as well. Uh, I'm going to have to test a few things. So, unfortunately, we have come across a bottleneck with our moon base. Now, I reverted back to an old save file. Uh, it was just the most recent one. Really? And if I go to our moon base, and let me see if I can activate cheats. Okay. So, I'll leave the cheats there. I'll make sure they're all off for now. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to click launch. Okay. Uh, which should we do here? Should we do here? Let's click launch. 
Now look and watch what happens. Fuck. Alright guys, watch this. We have a major problem with our moon base. Yes we do. Should we screenshot this? Maybe we should. Come on. Keep it. And keep it. Alright, so we have encountered a bottleneck with our moon base. Unfortunately, there is something wrong with the rovers on the left hand side here and they keep on exploding. That is the end of this moon base because, you know, every time, like previously, I was trying to get my rover close enough to the moon base to eventually dock, but I couldn't even get it past this point because the moon base's physics activated and the moon base smashed to pieces, just like what you saw there. That is very bad. I've. I wasn't too sure what it was exactly before, and I. You know, downloaded. Well, I didn't necessarily download. I just opened up a new KSP folder, and I, you know, placed in all my saves in there. This the crash. This game crash still occurred. It's just terrible. It's done for. I cannot do anything else. I'm still waiting for my damn payment from YouTube, but YouTube sucks. <laughs> because they don't even pay me yet, and they're meant to. But, I don't know, I'll just still wait on that, because I do want to get a good graphics card to be able to handle this stuff, but unfortunately, YouTube is a little bit slow with the payments, of course. They do that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to have to stop with the moon base. Maybe when the next update comes out, I'll probably make another base, or, you know, something else, maybe not on the moon, maybe on another planet, maybe on uh, Lathe or Duna, something like that, because there will be some useful implementations in the next update, such as, uh, what was it, rover seats or something, Kerbal seats, something like that, where the Kerbals get to sit on some seats while on EVA, that's very, it's going to be so cool. Don't forget the flags that they are going to implement. Also, my next project for KSP is to do something called Planet Skipping. That's what I called it. And what will that include will be... I will go to a single planet. I'll land on it. Or a moon. And then I'll get off that planet. A moon. And go to another planet. And I'll continue doing that until I visit all planets and moons. Without smashing my my rover or jet or whatever else is going to be. Of course I will be able to revert back to the a, a save file but overall it's going to be a fun project visiting all planets and moons. I don't think I've done that all in one go before but yeah and I will have the cheats off okay so to refuel to refill the fuel tanks for my SSDO which will visit all the planets and moons I will have to dock to it and refill it every now and then. It's going to be all legit so fun but, yep, yeah, that's it. Sorry about the ending for this moon base. I really hoped to develop it even more. But that's it. It's done. We can no longer handle it. And I'd actually blame it on a, a bug in the game. I would blame it on a bug. Is this in mid-air? It's in mid-air. It looks like it's in mid-air. Unless that there is carrying it yeah <laughs> that was carrying this in midair wow and the rover wheels are damaged look how cool that is very interesting yeah yeah I, I think I just blame this on a bug in the game <laughs> you know what I think probably was the problem is that maybe one of the rover wheels sunk into the ground and that created the explosion which triggered everything else to explode and fall the pieces everywhere else. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Sorry about the ending. See you next time.